Hello and welcome to a brand new LP from a game that was made by Eidos Interact or uh, not made, uh, published by Eidos Interactive and made by Crystal Dynamics. I believe that is the same ones that did uh, the original Tomb Raiders. You know, ages ago. Uh, Blood Omen was uh, Legacy of Kane was by Silicon Knights and yeah. This one's by Crystal Dynamics. So, without further ado, I uh, made a prequel uh, kind of thing, a synopsis of uh, Blood Omen. Main things you need to know is uh, Kane is the Balanced Guardian. Oops, sorry about that, bumping my ring off the desk. Uh, Kane's the Balanced Guardian, he defied the sacrifice, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, so these, these are all his generals, by the way. These ones that are currently looking at you and then looking away. The creepy ones. I think we were at the top right there. Yeah. Anyway, let us continue, shall we? I started the game ages ago, but that was uh, to test that it was working. There are some bugs, but we'll get around to that later. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once. As were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razio, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more... divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. Also, watch, watch Raziel's face here. Just something I noticed and remembered. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. So yeah, if you saw his face and uh, read the emotions, you would have noticed that there was a kind of suspicion and not trusting completely. I'll get onto that uh, at the end. There's only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. There was uh, some promotional, promotional material that uh, was I, a comic. Razio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings. To burn forever in the bowels of the Lake of the Dead. Cast him in. Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet, I lived. So yeah, I've never actually completed the game yet. I've got a little bit through it. I think I've killed three or four of the things. I know and that's you, Razier. So. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? 
death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the Abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. So yeah, welcome to really bad uh, 3D graphics again. Also, my controller is not working. This is wonderful. Why is the controller not working? <laughs> Oh, spectacular. You think you plan for every eventuality and then something comes out of the woodwork to stab you in the back. But anyway, I'll be back in a second then. Hmm. Okay, I think it was just an idea. Yeah, it was just an idea. It's not that the controller wasn't mapped correctly. It's just I didn't have the window selected because I was changing the volume. But anyway, uh, there's actually some promotional material on the game itself, which was a comic, like, I don't know, 10 pages long or something like that? That, uh, there is a wraith that comes and tells Raziel of Cain's betrayal, but doesn't tell him much more other than that. And, uh, Raziel doesn't actually quite believe it. But you can say, you These can see this very slight space, distrust. Laying a path across great spans. So yeah, this is your teleporter room that lets you, uh, jump around the place. It's mostly used for if you end up uh, dying and getting dissolved uh, in the spectral plane. Because you can't actually physically die, it's just that your uh, astral body gets dissolved and put back next to uh, the one that resurrected us. I don't want to spoil what his name is. So yeah. Because I don't know when they're going to actually say You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. It to sustain so. your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. So yeah. Pretty basic, just do that. One minute, I'm gonna stand here. Make it go a bit faster. There we go. I don't think you actually see them anywhere else, really, those soul kind of fonts. Uh, also, it is PlayStation 1. Uh, controls, so it's going to take me take me a little bit, and I'm using an Xbox. Your controller. wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. Chasm. Very dramatic with it speaking. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will help you across this chasm. What so, welcome to our first enemy. Are these? Stua, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Come on. 
There we go. And then we just need them up before they decide to reform. And voila! That's how you defeat the first enemy in the game. Not exactly that hard, is it? It gets a touch harder. But anyway, we're not here for the combat that much, we're here for the story. Which is actually really quite interesting, personally. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Indeed. Uh, let's get moving. There we go. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Oh, so you may have noticed that the actual architecture itself warped back into its more traditional aspects. Or the you way are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. So yeah, there are some rules to the physical, uh... Realm in the astral. Dipping her toes in the back there, that's not good. Just a little bit painful, but oh, it doesn't matter so much. There are some rules that make it uh, easier to navigate in creatures? the astral plane Do versus physical. Them? Some in the physical than astral. They are the children of your brother, Uma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. Indeed it has. So, let us teach them a lesson, shall we? I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. A vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. No. Nope. Come on. Let's do that proper. There we go. Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Come on, let's get that soul, please. Thank you. And let's execute this guy in a different manner, shall we? I think we'll go for the sun. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh. There we are. They can free themselves. They eventually start to regain their strength. So yeah. Thank you. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. We are, after all, just a chunk of matter at this point. So, uh, let us get this over to where we need to get it, or where I remember believing that we need to get it. I think it's over here. There will also be a lot of this that are block puzzles in this game. I believe it was here, right? Yeah, there we go. No, come on. Let's get back up there. Okay, game, come on. Thank you. There we go. So yeah, there's many things that I keep wanting to say, but I'm like, nah, I don't think that happened in Legs again. 
I also don't know if I should spoil things that happened in Lake Shea Kane. Hmm. The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Kane's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that okay. moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. Good, it's basically just mentioned that essentially uh, Cain found out that he was the final guardian that must be slain to restore Nosgoth to his former glory. Really? What the? Tell me here. What a dick. I'll take that back. Hello there. Ah. Come on. I will be trying to keep this weapon for as long as possible. It's just so useful to have. Ah, come on. So you can sneak up like this. I don't see much point in it personally. Because I think you can press that and just attack. I don't think there's any proper sneaking attack. I think it's just literally, oh yeah, you can sneak. It's like, why? Why bother? Oh, oh, crap. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you need to consume them before <laughs> before doing anything. Don't just take the spear back out. Not immediately. So yeah, we'll come in here and activate this teleporter room. Here we go. It just basically acts as a checkpoint. Nothing that major apart from that. And voila! So now we can travel here whenever we want. But, alas, right now, they're not one. We could also make our way back under uh, near where we were reborn, but eh. Eh. There we go. I'm trying to also think if I went about the graphics glitch out, because I, I did come to a point where the graphics glitched out, and I think it's past this bit. Yeah, it's a bit past this. I think it's got to do with uh, graphical. Uh, not graphical. This, at least, had remained oh, constant. That. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss, my tomb, and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Nosgoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. So yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, there's a bit not far from here actually, where the graphics glitch, and I think it's because of how large the area is, or how detailed the walls are, that the game doesn't think it would be able to manage it. Or at least the emulator doesn't think it would manage it. 
Okay there. Oh goodness. We're running quickly now, aren't we? Uh, pick up please, thank you. I think it may literally be, on, be beyond this door. No. Well, yes it is. What I am going to do quickly before I end up not knowing how is do that. No, it makes sense in a second. Or at least I think it will. If this is what I think it is, I'll have to reload the game at some point. Uh, not quite. Hey! Come on, thank you, thank, thank you. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Environment. <laughs> really, Raziel? <laughs> you muppet. Also, why are these guys standing near a fire? I don't assume they would get cold. Oh, come on. Thank you. There we go. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. Indeed. So, off to claim our revenge. Oh, hi! Hi! Is this Raziel needed any more inspiration? Ah, uh, you know what, we'll just execute right now. The other guy is all the way over there. Oh, you muppet! That was my own fault. Oh, fine. If I'll execute you, then we'll get the other guy. I can't believe I went and just did what I did. Come on, then. There we go. I'm actually wondering how some things in the story actually uh, pan out, because I know he doesn't start with a thing. And I'm wondering how he comes to have that thing. That, that's so cryptic and vague, but it'll make sense later. But anyway, um, I'm trying to think if I should, yeah, I probably should leave it there and then uh, check the audio volume. So, with us making our way to our own sanctuary and learning that Cain, had pro or probably Cain, had uh, destroyed our own uh, Kings, we'll leave there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.